Okay guys, so I'm just going to go through this trade now. I'm probably going to do this more often, just go through the trades I'm taking. Uh, because a lot of people ask about each individual trade. So I'll just go through this trade here. So if we just move this out of the way. So firstly, if we remove these session volumes, you can pretty much see that where price actually came into uh, was the last high back here so this was the last london uh push up before we did have this this uh, bearish push to the downside so this is firstly an area where price can come into and when price actually created this sort of pattern if we actually look back when price is here uh, this is when i actually sent this sort of setup when price was here i was looking for price to retest this uh area here to then make a move to the downside and reason for this was if we put this on here you can see duplicate that put that there and then we're waiting for the this the, the second shoulder here so to make it clearer it's hard to show on just pictures so we had the the left shoulder we had the head and then a normal head and shoulders would be down to here uh, and then they'd look for a break retest to go short here to then look to the downside but instead of doing that we were looking for price to create this lower lower low to then come back to test the neckline or the shoulder line even to then drop down so that's why uh, this per setup was pretty much perfect if you actually look on the four hour as well uh, I think it's the four hour if we put the right fib on uh, it might be right, yeah, around this area, as you see, 70, 61. Uh, if we add on the uh, 78 as well, you can see that this whole zone here um, was where we're looking to sell from. And also, uh, I think it was might be the 30 minute, I don't know, the four hour. The stop loss placement was literally just. 30 pips or well, 28 29 pips just above this area here uh, you could have waited to get your entry at the 70 uh, and you could have even had a tighter stop um, but obviously you've got to be a bit careful so, so let's say you move this stop loss to uh, 30 pips instead of 29.8 uh, you can see that what the price do came down created that lower low so here we've created the lower low on this push down so now we've got the qml formation so now we are going to retest this high here before making a move to the upside so when we get tapped in tapped in again and there's the drop so if you see now you know with the 30 pip stop or even the 29.8 pip stop which i had uh, let's put a 298 if you zoom in on the 30 minute you wouldn't actually have been stopped out there um, so 30 pips you obviously would have been uh, fine as well but you can see here remember I said price can come back to retest the fib once again after it's already uh, came and tested it before that's what we've had here you could have got another entry here you could have even drawn another fib there another entry um, and yeah they are the main confluences for the stop loss placement as well and where I got the entry you could target uh, this 1740 which is almost at the bottom of this imbalance uh, you could target this area as well to fill the whole imbalance um, but I do see price possibly making a move to the upside soon because we have that NFP tomorrow. If the NFP, NFP news comes out, I would predict we could see this sort of thing happen uh, like this. Uh, so push down, take out this low here, or take out the 1740, and then make a push to the 1800 area. Obviously, this is fully dependent on the NFP news, which comes out. Uh, so we'll obviously see how that goes before we make any uh any trades based off of it um i'm actually happy with my profit for the week so 
I am probably done trading. So yeah, a little breakdown here. And if we go on US 30 as well, uh, I remember I sent this chart and this is my area. So a lot of you know why. So we've got technically you've got the order block here. You've got the fib here as well. Lovely, lovely. But I was targeting the bottom area here of this order block, which is targeted to perfection. And this was up about, let me see how many pips. Uh, yeah, we're up about 8,000 pips on this one as well. So 8,000 pips on there, 100, 110 pips on gold. Uh, we're loving life pretty much. So yeah, a little breakdown for the trades. Got any questions? Leave them in the questions tab. And I'll catch you in a bit.